Hello, dear YouTube uh, subscribers, community. Um, it's been some time to have had some videos with thoughts, reflections, perspectives. And something that I've been um, in my mind busy about a lot lately is uh, tourism. Like how can my, me as a wilderness guide where uh, some of my income comes from tourists who come from abroad. How can I justify this? How can we justify this? Um, am I actually offering something that is really beneficial for everyone involved, including humans, including like that? That's me, the client, uh, or, or like guest, or the um, and the natural world, of course. Like, is it beneficial for everyone involved, or is it just something where I like to say, "Oh, yeah, this is good um, because." Um, and something that uh, I have a little, yeah, I don't know, is it a problem? Um, but you will see financially it's not very good. What I'm doing is like I'm giving 20%, up to 20% discount if people come without flying, right? And when you think about Finland, where we are, like this is kind of like the New Zealand of Europe, right? We are like so far away uh especially now that um like there's also no more tourists coming from russia in the moment or the place that our species calls russia um so when you want to come to finland without flying you're traveling pretty much as long as you would flying to new zealand um like it's or more it's like um from from where my like where i will where i grew up to here it's about over 40 hours from door to door so that's like the you know germany austria switzerland benelux countries um places which are you know popular like tourists uh, like finland is popular for tourists from there so when you come from there without flying you already spend like uh what is that like that's like pretty much four four and a half days of traveling all together right there and back so if you only have one week of holiday and you spend four days altogether traveling, um, I can understand why people then choose not to either come here or why they think that, okay, flying is the better option. And obviously flying is not the better option. For the local tourist industries, yeah, of course. Like the more people spend time here, the more people spend money here. So if tourists come here for three days only, they spend a lot less money here as if they would um, spend like here five days. And I would really recommend to everyone to come at least for five full days in the backcountry, right? It takes time to get adjusted, to arrive, to, you know, um, settle into the routines, to, to find out what you want to learn more about, um, to... So it's like really like come for five days at least. So if you only have one week holiday, you can pretty much forget Finland. Yeah. And really, I know that flying is tempting. Still flying is a no brainer. Like just don't do it. Uh, same as like, you know, buying unnecessary new stuff, uh, driving SUVs, unnecessary big cars, having to own cars, uh, the diet, what we eat, what we buy how we live you know all these things like everybody like every gram counts and that's not just co2 so flying is like really not an option and and any customer that contacts me i'm always having this discussion before they come because the program is tailor-made where i'm asking like okay how how do you come here um and i i hope i wouldn't be serving people anymore who come flying um in the end, it's the customer's choice. In the end, I prefer to be serving people who want to come here anyway, rather than um, have them, I don't know, go on a, on a, like at least from me, I know what they get. I don't know what kind of long lasting um, nature connecting experience people get if they do a snowmobile safari. Yeah, or, or I don't know what other things are being offered. So um i know at least that uh, i'm i'm really happy with the philosophy of of my programs with my code of conduct and and the values that and and the experience that i'm able and and uh, willing or 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 um motivated passionate about to provide so i rather have people then to come to me than to 
come somewhere else. Um, so when I offer to people like, like, please do not come flying, that already means people need more time for the trip. And they also need more money for the trip because for some stupid, stupid reason, flying is still much, much cheaper um, or s somewhat cheaper than than coming here by um, by ship or train or bus or hitchhiking. Actually, there is now quite cheap bus connection going from Berlin, Hamburg uh, to Joensu here, uh, which ago also takes about 40 hours, but I think it's less than 100 euro. Um, so that might be really interesting. Um, but again, not for everyone. Like I also prefer to take the ship, um, you know, over the Baltic Sea to Germany from Helsinki, where you can walk around and and um, you know sleep in a proper bed and so on. Um, so when people then come here, they have already spent more money on the way. They have spent time on the way, uh, and that means that maybe I need to actually offer my products cheaper so that they can still afford the whole holiday. And if I then want to reward people to um, for not flying by offering a discount of up to 20%, it means that it, I, I don't get to stay, like I, I'm not making much profit from this uh, at all, right? So it's like, um, yeah, I, I heavily rely on tips <laughs> if I ever get them. Like usually other people like taxi drivers or so, they get the tips, but I don't get the tips. <laughs> Um, it's simply because I, when you know, when you send a bill afterwards, it's like there's like not this. Okay, um, here's the bill, and and you can send a tip here. Um, so yeah. Anyhow, um, that's something. It's really like on my mind, and I'm wondering, okay, what else can I do except you know providing an experience that is like connecting and humbling and um, and making guests more reflect on their choice of activities or on their lifestyles um, and yeah there is some ecosystem restoration ideas I'm looking into um, some cooperations um, but there will be much easier actually to to ask money to support these kind of things so I have to think a little bit about this and I'm happy to see that there is other providers who who uh, who promise like some discounts or or benefits if they if the the participants come without flying, um, and if you are in the industry yourself, if you're a wilderness guide, um, yeah, I would like to hear your thoughts on this. I know some people say like, well, it's not my problem what the people do. Obviously, it is my problem. We live on the same planet. Um, and also, like, um, there is the philosophy of um, some guides that say, well, uh, I'd rather have them flying than, like, you know, uh, go on a cruise ship tour and then have time here with me and do something valuable. Um, yeah, I don't know. For me, it feels bad. Um, like, I don't fly myself. Um, and, and, like, looking at the impact tourism has on our world, um, I'm yeah trying not to rely on it too much at the same time i know that tourism is something or traveling is something that really broadens our horizon and deepens our understanding and our connection to the world so i do think that traveling is important it's for sure a huge privilege um, again some some reason why i would like to offer it relatively cheap so that more people can afford it instead of like um, just the you know uh, wealthy few or so so please let me know in the comments. I'm curious to hear what you think. Um, can we afford tourism? What are the benefits? Um, yeah. Should I even accept people who, who come flying here? Should I say no, only, only non-flyers? Only, only locals? Um, yeah, that's... I have no clear answer. I'm working on it and I'm thinking about it. So take good care and thank you for watching and liking, subscribing, sharing um, and interacting, commenting. Have a good time. Take care. Bye bye.